good morning, everyone. Appreciate you being here. Um, you know, coming off uh, you know, Saturday evening, um, you know, really, really proud of our football team. You know, getting a chance to go back and watch the film. Um, you know, to, to see the execution of a plan of what we uh, what we wanted to do, um, how that played out throughout the course of uh, you know four quarters. Um, I thought we played one of our cleanest games, and I said in, in regards to you know we were 100% ball security. Uh, um, you know, offensively we were able to create a takeaway. I had explosive plays. Uh, had explosive play in special teams. Uh, really established the run. Um, you know, really good on third downs offensively. You know, defensively, um, you know, they were there were there were three drives that that North Carolina had that uh, the first two of the game, which you know there were some things that we had to clean up on. But then really the last drive, which you know we forced to is I think it was an eleven play drive where they took up a lot of clock, and um, you know we were trying to you know just um, you know, keep things. We didn't want to give up any any points at the end, but the way that drive played out uh, it was something that you know you know took a big chunk of clock. And so I mean I, I thought we did some good things defensively. Uh, we were down a lot of personnel. A lot of guys had to play a significant number. Of snaps, um, but uh, you, know, you know we wanted to take control of that game, and uh, you know the physicality, the toughness, um, you know the mindset of, of how our guys responded after being down ten nothing. Um, you know, I was just proud of our team. I think we're getting better. Um, you know, it's it's a continued work in progress. You know, we do, we definitely have a lot of things we have to uh, continue to improve on. I thought Jordan played at, at an extremely high level. Um, you know. Had some explosive plays with the legs, but the efficiency of him throwing the football was incredible. He had two two incompletions, uh, one tip pass, uh, um, you know, uh, in the first drive, and uh, both incompletions were in the first drive, and then he completed the next eleven, um, you know. But uh, just great decisions. I thought our receivers stepped up and I mean made some critical critical plays. A couple touchdowns. Um, you know, they're uh, you know, in the end zone that came down to, to, to a matter of inches. You know, we had a, a third down and 12 conversion with Keyshawn, um, you know, there on the sideline. It's just so those guys came up big, and I was really proud of them. Um, just all in all, a really good team win. And to go on the road and to, to be able to to play out the game plan like uh, like we wanted, um, you know, our guys, you know, they prepared last week well, and uh, you were able to go out there and, and execute well there on game day. So proud of them. Did, uh, first of all, if you could just talk about the, the post game celebration and, and you know some video got out, whether you wanted to or not, of, of in the locker room, um, just that celebration. And does this victory against North Carolina feel different in any way than last year's victory in terms of um, last year? There was just some like some explosive plays that happened and things like that. This seemed like a little bit more of an all around victory. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was a lot happier after this one than I was really a year ago. I mean, uh, you know, this this was a uh, was a, a clean game. I, I mean, and I say that in a way is that we went out there and, you know, it was the, the flows of it. Down 10, came back, you know, we're up 21, uh, you know, 21 10 there. And, uh, um, you know, going in, you know, they came out. You know, we didn't, we didn't start the third quarter as well. We, we had a three and out. They went down and scored, but we responded. And, uh, you've been able to, to truly win the game, um, you know, by, by doing the things that were necessary. Uh, you know, I was really pleased of our team. And, um, you know, it was a great. It's always great to celebrate after a win. Um, you know, to, and, but really knowing what these guys have, have kind of worked through, and that's been a, a big part of our message. So, I mean, we we have been through it, and uh, you know, the 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 work. The, the investment that they're making, uh, the be the belief that's growing. I mean, we we're still we're a, we're a team that's that's working to figure figure things out uh, in, you know, through those experiences and. Um, you know, I, I was proud of them, and you know, it's, it's a great celebration. You know, in the locker room, you see the joy, you see, see the excitement. Um, you know, this is a it's a team that uh, you know they're, they're, they believe, and I know I said that in the post game, but I mean, I, I you see it in their eyes, and I get to, I get to work with them. You know, every day, and you see the the incremental you know you know gains that we're making, and uh, for that to start to show up, uh, you know, there on Saturdays. I mean, uh, I think from a discipline. Um, uh, Aspect of it, you know, had another game where we were, uh, were you know, limited in in the n number of penalties that we had. There were still a couple that we've got to get corrected, and and some some things that we've got to got to improve on. But uh, you know, the, uh, the the situational football is is getting better, and and th that that comes from uh, the investment from from our players. And uh, you know, we're. Uh, um, 
it, it was good to celebrate, good to see them, um, you know, have that experience on the road when, you know, not many people were giving us much of a chance to go and, and achieve success, but they believed they could, and uh, we believed that we could. And so, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great great time there in that locker room. You and Coach Dillingham have talked a good bit about kind of getting it toward the offense where all 11 guys just do their job and what, what can happen on plays when that happens. I guess how much higher a rate did that happen at Saturday? I thought Jordan's touchdown, I think, was one. The touchdown run was one especially where it seemed like that was the case. Yeah, I mean, it was it was, uh, it was fun watching the film. And, you know, you, you go back and you get a sense of it on game day where you see, you know, plays are, are, are executing at, at a high rate. Uh, you know, guys, there weren't, weren't many negatives. I think we only had uh, uh, two TFLs. You know, I, I definitely want to take this time to uh, should have done this at the beginning but to give a shout out to our offensive line. Um Offensive line, tight ends, you know, uh, you know, Cam, uh, Jordan, those guys, you know, they blocked, they blocked extremely well. I mean, I, we, I think we only gave up two. I think it was two TFLs in the game and uh, no sacks. And uh, you know, it's it's been a while since you know that's that's happened. And still being able to have uh, over 200 yards rushing, um, you know, these guys, they they're growing up. And uh, you know, even doing that, you know, Devonte went down and Bayvon had to go in and guard. Um, you know that, that 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 group has been battling, and they've you know there's we haven't had a whole lot of consistency in a lineup, um, but you know the, the the consistency has shown up in the work and and the, and the desire to to get better. But uh, you know to kind of finish up on your on on your question, I mean it was it was nice to see eleven guys operating you know as one, and that doesn't always mean there was going to be an explosive play. Uh, you know some of the best plays we had were four, five, six yard gains, and uh, and then the explosive plays came. But uh, but being able to control the clock, being able to I mean, you know, other than the first quarter, I mean, that was that's what we wanted. That that's what we wanted the game to look like, and uh, you know, it, it was going to take efficiency. It was going to take you know explosiveness when we got opportunities. But uh, you know, I thought our guys did a great job with that. Kind of sticking with the offensive line, Mike. How much of what we saw on Saturday was those guys mostly being healthy and getting time to consistently practice? Robert, Maurice, those guys. I know you lost Devontae in the game, but still. Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, you know. Um, Rob Scott played probably his best game of the year. Um, you know, he was – you could see him getting more and more confidence. I mean, he's really been been pushing and battling. Uh, you know, Darius played, I thought, really well, did some, some good things. Um, you know, Maurice is, is still battling away, you know. I mean, just um, – you know, and definitely probably not a, well, he's not a hundred percent, but I mean, you know, the, the, you know, the confidence in what we're doing, his growth mentally from a year ago to where it is now is, is incredible. I mean, just the ownership of the calls, uh, what he sees, how's he, how he's able to adjust to that throughout the course of the game. Um, you know, Dylan Gibbons, um, you know, I thought played one, uh, you know, uh, probably one of his better games since he's been here just from a physicality aspect. I mean, he had some, he had some plays where, I mean, he's, he's creating some, some, some significant movement, uh, you know, there uh, along the front and, you know, you mentioned Devontae and Bavion. I mean, the, the jobs that those guys are working to do. I mean, it's, it, it, it's a challenge when you don't get the 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 continuity is not able to grow just with five guys and I mean we haven't uh, you know we've had guys that have been limited in practice guys that have that have had to you know kind of rotate throughout the course of games but uh, you know because of the versatility of the guys that we have and and the uh, the investment that they're making uh, I think that they are growing in confidence in what they can do so yes that is that is uh, definitely helping but you know when when Devonte went down and Bavion had to had to to step in I mean you know you, you had to continue to to, to continue to um, to operate with that efficiency, and uh, you know, it wasn't wasn't perfect by any stretch, but uh, you know, I think those guys are getting better, and you know, definitely playing with more confidence. But Mike, earlier you talked about situationally how well you guys played in this game, and really going back to Louisville, if you look at that in the second half, on both sides of the ball, third and fourth downs, what is the what's the reason behind that? Is it just guys finally executing, uh, making those key situational plays, more of an emphasis on practice, and just kind of? Figuring out what happened there. Yeah, we really. I mean, to be honest with you, we haven't changed the, the emphasis and practice. Those are things that we've, uh, um, you know, we've done throughout. But you know, it, it's translating that from practice to to the field. And uh, you know, you know, I know I mentioned earlier in the year, you know, with all the right intentions, you know, that guys, you know, they wanting to to, to make a play, wanting to, to, but sometimes operating outside the system or trying to do too much in moments. Um, you know, like I'll say, like the defensive backfield, our corner specifically. Uh, you know, I thought they played uh, one of their better games in, um, you know, there on Saturday, and it, it truly was, you know, fundamental technique, belief, confidence, communication. Those things showed up at a, at a higher rate, and. Um, 
you know, it's, it, it, it carries over to, to all positions. And, and those are things that, you know, you, you want to see guys have to, you know, kind of work themselves through that, um, you know, but you're right. I mean, the last two and a half games, I mean, that's been something that's been much improved. Um, and it's just the repetition of hearing it, the repetition of doing it. And, uh, you know, when you see that success and that confidence continues to build and, uh, you know, that's what we're, we're kind of feeding off that a little bit. And, um, you know, I think, you know, it, it, it sets us up to, to have, a, have an opportunity to continue to grow and, and, and trust those things and still clean up the finer details of, you know, it, it, you know, even Saturday, we're excited about the win. It was a great one of them. We can be a lot better, and we need to be a lot better. But, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's why we go back to work. Stay over there for Ira. We all know about Jordan's athletic ability. Um, it just seemed like he seemed very, like, calm and, and poised in that game. Was that a result of you guys and, and him really figuring out a game plan that works for him, or is it just him – Growing as a player. Yeah, I mean, I think I think he he's played he was he played very confident and you know, even early there was a few plays um, that he he might have been you know just like all emotions he get in a game maybe, maybe a little quick but uh, you know I th I think the play that stood out and you know Coach Dunham and I were talking about it. Uh, you know, the, the third and six, I think it was the third and six where he hit Keyshawn you know on the under route and uh, you know not many people you know look at that and like oh man that was like that was a real play. And that was one where he went through a progression, trusted a drop, went through, and I mean, just looked so calm and natural in it. And that, I just thought that kind of helped even spark him a little bit. And really, the rest of the game looked like it was going in slow motion for him. And uh, you know, that's that's what you just want him to see. That's what you want to see out of him. Just go out there and play the game the way you uh, know how to play it. Let it come to you. I mean, you know, when you're an explosive, you know, athlete like he is, you know, sometimes you want to make. Every play being be a highlight. Every play, you know, and and there were some times that even on Saturday where, you know, he could. I mean, there were other other things that that maybe even decisions and thought process that he could have you know um, you know, allowed to play out, especially early in the game. But uh, you know, you know, Jordan is. I mean, he he's growing in his confidence. You know, I think he played. That was. I mean, he. It was remarkable. I, mean, I thought he did a great job, uh, but there's still areas that he can see and grow from that experience. When he sees, you know, let it come to you, you know, good Lord bless him with some some tremendous um, you know, athleticism, and he he showed that as well in, in, in the explosiveness that he provides. But if he lets the game come to him, he can be really really good. Uh, Jerry and talked after the game about kind of he wouldn't mind maybe having another game next week kind of with the role you all have been on. But I guess how timely do you think the bye week is, especially with those injuries piling up on the line in the backfield? Yeah, I mean, we're, it's, it, it, we need it. I mean, and, you know, gave guys off uh, uh, yesterday that came in for treatments. I mean, that was something that, uh, um, you know, that we, that we obviously need to get, get guys healed up. And, uh, you know, today, um, you know, we'll meet later on this evening, um, you know, just to, to be able to, um, you know, kind of put, Put Saturday to bed, and then uh, you know to, we'll come back to work tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, big fundamental focus. You know we're gonna get some good on good work. You know, but I mean there's gonna be it's gonna be reduced in in the amount of contact that we have this week, uh, just especially with those front line guys. Cause, I mean it's been you know we've been we've been pushing hard, and uh, these guys have been responding, and they've been they've been uh, you know working hard in, in practice. It's been very physical. Obviously the games, I think that's been a positive uh, positive trend. I don't I think we're you know. You know, five to six games, we've rushed for over over uh, you know, 200 yards. I mean, we got a you know we're a physical team, I believe, and uh, you know there's things that um, um, you know are going to have to carry over here in the second half of the season. Um, but you know we'll get good work in this week. But we, we definitely need to let, let some bodies heal up. And you know as long as we do what we need to do and we get our opportunities to practice and we get our opportunities to meet, uh, you know it's not it's not just a momentum thing. I mean that's a, you see in. In, the, in games, I mean, you're going to have ups and downs and, and momentum. We played we played good football Saturday because we, we prepared to play good football and we were able to execute that. Um, when we were down ten nothing, it wasn't like oh yeah we're you know this is exciting you know no you just continue to trust doing what you do and and uh, you know I thought our guys you know uh, applied that well and so um, you know having a bye week you know there's nothing as long as we do the things necessary here this week uh, we'll be prepared to come back uh, you know this you know on, on game week you know you're ready to go out and continue to improve. 
Coach, how will you use this week to kind of evaluate a guy like Emmett Rice? Is he a guy that could come back next year in terms of eligibility requirements and things like that? You know, any any guy that's injured, uh, you know, we're going to continue to track. I mean, uh, we knew that, you know, when Emmett got hurt this spring, that there was going to be a, uh, you know, a little bit lengthier uh, rehab process. Um, you know, he is progressing well. And, uh, you know, Leonard Warner is progressing well. And those guys are, are, are getting closer. So, uh, you know, we'll be able to see how, how they uh, – um, uh, continue to emerge and, and the work that they're getting, and if, if they get an opportunity to be able to help us, uh, you know that we're gonna we're gonna push forward to be able to do that. But uh, you know, we'll see how all that goes here these next few weeks. Go back to Ira. Uh, Jamie playing more of a traditional safety role um, the last few weeks. It seems like has that. It seemed like maybe it was out of necessity at first. But how's that going for him? And, and, and also, if you could talk about Kevin and the way he's, he's yeah, done. I think uh, you know it, it's twofold. I mean, one, you know, uh, you know, the development of Kevin Knowles has been something that I've really been pleased to see. And I mean, he's just a great competitor. You know, you could see his confidence. You know, you know, growing each and every week. Um, you know, was you know had had uh, you know less mistakes. You know, in just you know the, some of those freshman mistakes that show up. You know, he those were reduced there uh, on Saturday for him, which you know Jamie it allows Jamie to be able to go back. And uh, you know, you know, play the safety spot, which you know, we asked so much out at Jamie, and you know, the production has been there. You know, he's uh, had a bunch of tackles the other day, but there's still some things that when you ask a guy to do so many, so many things, it's the, the, the finer details that, that sometimes uh, got to continue to be refined. And uh, you know, Jamie is an extremely hard worker, and I know he's going to continue to do that. Um, but then you know, we were down a bunch of guys at, at, at the safety spot as well, and so um, you know, it's uh, want to continue to see uh, you know Jamie. Uh, you know, Kevin continue to grow and, and make that type of impact, but also you know just uh, you know, the the versatility of what Jamie brings to our defense and you know the, the physicality and, and a playmaking ability. I think is something that's big. Coach Zone Reed RPO is a big part of your offense, obviously, and it seemed like Jordan really ran that at a high level in this last game. Are you seeing that starting to click with him in practice, being able to make those correct reads? And it's just, is it a confidence thing on his? Part yeah, I mean, too? it's a lot of it's you know just a repetition when you don't, I mean. You know, he's been very limited in practice in what he's been able to do, and so uh, you know that any time that you have zone read a part a part of an offense or any any read game, and you know it's it, it takes time. It takes time for the mesh. It takes time in, in just the the finer details of that with the with him, the backs, and really everybody that's involved in that. Um, but you know the, those guys, they're they're working hard at it, and uh, you know I thought I thought they executed at a at a pretty high level there on Saturday. Still some things that uh, you know even with with our eyes and and in places that we want to be I mean that we're going to get better at but uh, you know he's he's definitely uh, coming along with the practice reps that he's getting and, and the investment that he's making come back over here front left of right here. kind of a two-pronged question Mike you mentioned uh, just some of the lack of some of the injuries that have built up on defense and can you talk about how you had to be creative on the defensive line with the rotation to get the most out of that group and then secondly uh, the, the play of Fabian Lovett and how he performed uh, I mean Feds are you're spot on with Fabian I mean Fabian has been a guy I thought he played one of his best games I mean so very impactful up front uh, you know he's a great leader for us you know you you see the the work that that he's put in um, you know, you guys saw him a year ago, and where he is now. I mean, just the development of his body. Um, you know, the, the the strength, the athleticism. He had a couple plays that uh, you know, splitting double teams, bending down the line to make a tackle. I mean, it was impressive to see him the way that he performed. And uh, you know, you guys like you know Malcolm Ray that had to play. You know, you know JJ uh, Jared Jackson was out uh, in the game, and you know that really t you know we've we've been testing our defensive tackles. Um, you know, and just uh, the availability of those guys. Well, with uh, with JJ being out, Malcolm had to play the most snaps probably of his career, and you know he had some pr some productive plays, but also uh, some plays where you know you just got to continue to grow into uh, you know trusting those fundamentals and and technique uh, you know you know things. But you saw Josh Farmer out there. You know Robert Cooper had to play a, a lot more snaps than he normally did. So um, you know just looking for those combinations, the the, the best the best as possible is um, you know you looked at the two the two bookends. I mean they played a lot of snaps. I mean Jermaine and, and uh, Kier, um, you know I think we're both over sixty snaps in the game, which is, you know, it's, it's a challenge. And, uh, but we got young defense ends, I think, that can continue to, to emerge. And I know they're working hard at that. And so, I mean, we're going we're gonna to really kind of push that here in this bye week uh, to, to help those guys establish that role because there has been some productivity uh, you throughout the early part of the season. Earlier, you praised the defensive backs. Can you just speak on them and how they've done a good job of getting, um, when they give up a big play, for example, like moving on, playing the next play, showing consistent effort, 
not letting one play kind of waterfall into more bad. Yeah, I mean, that's, a, you know, you, when you play in the defensive backfield, you, that, that has to be, you know, in your DNA. You've got to have a short-term memory. Um, you know, you learn, from, you learn from the mistakes that are made, but you've got to be able to move forward from that. And, um, you know, I've been challenging to, I've been challenging to that group. And, uh, you know, out at, on the practice field, um, you know, it is, it's it's about making the most of, of, of every day of every rep every you know, each meeting you know the the sense of uh, purpose and intensity you bring to how you communicate because uh, you know, those have been things that have that have hurt us you know earlier in the year um, you know I, I saw I know I talked about you know. Uh, Jerry and after the after the game of just you know his preparation, um, you know it's been the last couple of weeks I've seen him take a step. You know Jarvis Brownlee, Travis Jay, um, you know this last week. I mean those guys. I mean they're it, it's coming. And you know those are young players, and um, those guys that that have that have played a lot, have played a good amount of football. But you know we want them to take their game to the next level, and as long as they will continue to invest at that level and and to not take a step back, to not get comfortable in a situation, um, you know I think this I think the sky's the limit for what they can accomplish. But you know it 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 has to be that consistency, and you know there's going to be times that you know what you, you might get beat on a play, but if you can if you can revert back to to the true. Uh, you know objectives of what you're trying to accomplish in your assignment, your technique, your fundamentals. You know, it's going to put you in the best position to to achieve success on the next play, and and that's what we're uh, trying to instill in these guys. We'll go back corner to Avon. When it comes to guys that are on your roster that decide to explore the transfer portal, did you express like an expectation to guys when they get here about if if they ever decide to go that route, kind of you want them to go through a certain process of meeting with you, or uh, is that kind of just a case by case basis? I um, mean, we have our our process of how it goes, and if somebody elects to, and I've I've had communication with all of them, so it's uh, some of them I have a little bit longer conversation, some of them not so much. Kurt, uh, I know you're uh, celebrating a milestone birthday today. I guess any any big plans, and and along with that, you were I think that when you got hired at Memphis, the youngest FBS head coach, you're still one of the younger Power Five head coaches. I guess how valuable is, is it having so many years of head coaching experience while still being so relatively young in the profession? Um, um, I'm glad to make it to another birthday. You know, every day that I get, I'm I'm, I'm grateful for. Um, you know, definitely a, a lot more exciting after Saturday's results. So uh, you know, it's a uh, you know, I'm just you know, each each day that. Um, you get a chance to make an impact on somebody. You know, you you take those, you take those experiences and and you grow from them. You learn from them. I mean, you know, the things that, uh, you know, six games through this season. You know, it's been it's been an an, an interesting ride, and uh, we've had some. Um, some learning experiences, some things that I have not seen uh, you know, through that head coaching experience that I do have. But uh, you know, it's just an opportunity for us to to respond and to to make sure that the consistency in our leadership of, of what we expect and how we'd like it done for that to be able to play out. And um, you know, I've been blessed throughout my coaching career. Uh, you know, I, 15 years ago or 16 years ago, I didn't know a Division One coach, um, but I was provided an opportunity, and I try to make the most of that opportunity every day. You know, I I get. You know, uh, I try to always be grateful for for the position that I've been that I've been put in, and uh, you don't want to ever take a day for granted. And so today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna celebrate it by working. And uh, you know, we'll we'll get some good time. Uh, um, you know, yesterday I was able to give the, the staff off, so I got to spend some some time with the family, and that was great. Got to go watch the girls' soccer team uh, get a big win, and uh, you know, was, was happy you happy for them. And just, uh, um, but uh, you know, it's it, you enjoy the time that you get, but uh, you you always got to make sure that you're capitalizing on on each day, and that's what we're gonna do today. Mike, really, I remember since you were hired, talk about how you want to be your team that can run. You really want to emphasize that part of the offense. Obviously, I think it was a 41 to 13 ratio. But is this really more of the, the I guess, the identity of what you want this offense to be? Is this more reflective of that than maybe what we've seen in the past? You know, I mean, we're always going to be an offense that takes what the defense gives us. And and that's something that, um, you know, even on on the Saturday, I mean, you saw, I mean, there were a couple of things that, you know, we, we were able to run the ball. We were able to establish run. We were we were we were limited. Uh, we limited the number of negative plays, and we were able to play ahead of the chains. I mean, you uh, you know, I thought defensively, you know, we were able to get some great stops there. I mean, they were they were limited in the number of possessions that we had. That was it. It was Saturday was complimentary football, and that's what I that's what I liked seeing. And there's gonna be times, um, you know, the week prior, you know, we threw the ball more times, but it you know it was really. 
you know, extended version of the running game. There's been some games where, you know, you have to push the ball, you know, more down the field and uh, just depending on what, what you're what you're seeing. And, and we want to have versatility in the offense, but it always wants to start by being able to 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 run the ball and get the run established. Um, I really don't ever go into it saying, oh, it's got to be this percentage to that percentage. Um, but, you know, as long as we can get the run established, uh, the run game established, and have productivity in it, um, you know, it's that's that's what's going to allow our playmakers to to show up. And you know, what I liked was, you know, even though it was limited passing attempts, I mean, we were efficient in that. We were explosive in that. We were able to uh, to to you know move the chains and and you know really force them to still have to play a couple safeties on the roof. Uh, you know, in 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 those situations because of what we were able to do. On uh, Treshawn's last run um, to get the first down, when you is that a is that just kind of like what you expect from him? That's our determination. And B, what do you think that can do for teammates who might find themselves in, the, in those kinds of situations? Yeah, you know, uh, it was it's kind of funny because you know I guess it was a play before that you know, we're, we're in a four minute situation and uh, you know Treshawn found himself on the perimeter and went out of bounds. And so uh, if he didn't make that run, it would probably have been a r rough conversation for him on the sideline. So I think uh, that it was a, a little bit extra determination to, to get the first down there. Um, but, you know, it was that was an unbelievable run. And, uh, you know, we got uh, unfortunately had a little penetration, uh, you know, there in the backfield and he had to make a, a quick decision, um, you know, and just a, a reactionary movement, uh, you know, ran through a tackle of, of, of a guy. And I um, mean, that was just it was all heart there. And, uh, you know, the, the work that he's put in uh, the player that I believe that that you know he is and it's going to continue to develop uh, to be I mean it's he's got a chance to be special and uh, you know he is a uh, he comes to work every day you know he's he's one of those guys I mean it's he doesn't have a bad day because you know he's also he's had to earn it he's had to work himself you know from the bottom up and uh, you know he's I love coaching him and to see him Respond. I mean, you know, Jay Sean went down um, you know and was, was kind of limited there late and uh, you know Trey Sean took over and you know, help help win the game. So uh, I was really proud of him for that. Uh, like I said, still some things we're gonna, you know, continue to, to learn from from those experiences. But you know, he's a he's a heck of a back, and I'm excited about what what his future is gonna be. Good. All, right. All right. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Thank you.